In this video, Daniel will show you how to push on a longboard as a complete beginner. Although you can learn to push using any skateboard or longboard, a drop-down longboard, which has the deck closer to the ground and requires the least effort, is recommended. Well, I have two different types of longboards here. I'll demonstrate on both. We'll start with just like very simple stuff, you know, just little, little pushes. We're not gonna do like giant pushes. We'll save that stuff for later. When you first get on the board, you want your foot to be in the center and point it forward. Not to the left, not to the right, but in the center. As for how far forward, it depends on what kind of board you have. The board that I'm standing on right now is called a, uh, th this type is called a double drop. This is as far forward as I can stand on this board. Whereas on this board, this is a top mount. Generally speaking, you want your front foot as close to the front truck as possible because that gives you the most control over the truck. You don't want to be standing completely over the front truck, of course, because then, you know, you can tip over that way. You can stand farther back if you want. This one in particular has a tail, so you could stand like this, like on a regular popsicle board. It's a little bit unusual to stand like this for a long board. You can stand in the middle. You can stand farther up front. I suggest you try different ways and uh, see what works. But generally speaking, you want your front foot close to the front truck. When you're first starting out, just do little pushes. Just like this. Now, it looks simple in video, but if you're just trying this out for the first time, even doing this may be difficult. You may want to use your arms to balance. That's perfectly fine. Uh, your leg is probably going to feel tired because your muscles aren't used to this. That's fine. If you need to stop, just stop and then try again. You could do, you could do this first just to get comfortable, but try to, uh, try to glide with just one leg. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to ride switch because I'm really bad at this. I usually ride with my right leg in front, but now I'm going to show you how I look with my left leg in front. For me, as you can see, I, I have to use my arms to balance because uh, I'm just really not used to this with my other leg. So this is kind of what you can expect if you're a complete beginner. Ooh, see, I'm, my, my left leg is already feeling quite tired and I'm veering off to the left. Becoming comfortable with this step alone may take some time. It could be minutes or days or even months. If you're someone like Daniel who spends most of his time sitting in front of a computer, expect this to be a slow process. Exercises that work on your lower body and balance may help you progress more quickly. Now we're gonna put the back foot onto the board. So it's gonna look something like this, okay? We're not gonna shift foot position yet. We'll do that later. The reason we wanna practice this is because if you're new to this, you're probably gonna end up standing like this with your heel in the middle and your toes hanging off. You wanna try to avoid that because if you're standing like this, you can't turn heel side. It'll be very easy to turn this direction, but the other way will be uh, difficult. If your foot is in the middle, then now you can use your back foot to steer. Again, we're just practicing putting our back foot onto the board. Notice that I'm not moving the front foot yet. Uh, in fact, when I'm, when I'm just cruising and I'm just on a straight road, I generally just keep my front foot pointed straight. I don't even switch position until I know that I need to turn. From the back, this is how it looks. You can push once or push a couple times, up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. Again, we wanna, oops, bumps. We want to avoid putting your foot like this, okay? If you're new, you're likely going to have a tendency to stand like this with your toes hanging off. But try not to do that. Try to stand in the middle. This way you can, you have some ability to steer with the back foot. Generally, you want to steer with the front foot, but for now, if you're mostly riding straight, it's fine to steer with the back. If you want to start skating but are afraid that you're too old, then this channel is for you. Skate lessons for grown-ups who want to be cool with Skate Daddies.